All right, let's get into this. Today is the day for WWE Dragon Rights presented by Boy123 Gym. And don't forget that this video is also presented by the 7 Days Podcast, which will be up tomorrow. So let's begin today's WWE Bragging Rights. So we begin Monday Night Raw this past Monday night, live in Hartford, Connecticut, on October 31st, Halloween night. We begin the show with Goldberg making his entrance to the ring, and he gets in the ring, talks about Brock Lesnar. Before he gets his full thoughts out for the world to see, guess what? Paul Heyman comes out, and he's like, you know, he's he's pissed off that the fans are chanting for Goldberg and not for Brock Lesnar. So, Brock Lesnar, sorry, Goldberg, I should say, standing there telling the fans to cheer for him. And Paul Heyman gets in the ring. He even questioned himself, why is he getting in the ring with Goldberg? And Goldberg is taking off his jacket, looking to get ready for a fight. So, Goldberg gets in, oh, sorry, Paul Heyman gets in the ring. And he's teasing how Brock Lesnar is going to show up and he's going to conquer and defeat and beat up Goldberg. And he played, they play the music. Everything was being set up. Everyone's getting hype. But Paul Heyman in the corner as the music shut off and the Titantron, the Minitron, and all the, all the graphics shut off. Paul Heyman in the background just laughing his ass off. Like... Like he just saw the funniest thing in the world, which he basically made the entire area, the entire crowd, the the entire arena, including Goldberg, gullible, proving that you know, one they, they always would they would believe anything Paul Heyman would say, even though Paul Heyman is known for being a liar. So Goldberg, you know, standing there looking like, okay, I can't believe I fell for that one. So Paul Heyman basically. Making fun of Goldberg, how he fell for it, and then his son being disappointed that Brock Lesnar is not here to fight Goldberg. So Goldberg turns turns his attention to Paul Heyman, so that he wants to fight uh, Paul Heyman instead of Brock Lesnar. Thinking that maybe if he beat up Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar might finally come out, but Brock Lesnar wasn't even there at all. Who do we get? We got Rusev. Rusev comes out saying, look, I see, I see that you like to talk about people even though they're not there. Yes, he told the fans, yes, Brock Lesnar is not here tonight. And basically what I'm trying to say here is uh, Rusev comes out saying Rusev crush weak people and then he punches Goldberg. Goldberg standing there smiling and then they went at it. Goldberg with the high knees. He did slip. I'm not going to lie. He did slip. He hit him with the high knees and then hit him with a beautiful jackhammer like the old days. And then out of nowhere, He's like, you know, why not? He spears Paul Heyman. The Walrus gets speared by Goldberg. And that was the end for that segment, which I enjoyed. We go from that to a trick or street fight by Enzo Mori versus Luke Gallows. Uh, coming to the ring, uh, Big Cass and Carl Anderson. And they go at it. The match ends with Big Cass, uh, sorry, Enzo slapping... Anderson with a pie in the face and and uh, hitting Gals with a DDG. Okay, Charlotte talks uh, about you know being a superior, dominant female on the roster. Bailey comes out. Ba the promo was not good, and Bailey had a match against Nia Jax. Bailey got squashed by Nia Jax, basically getting revenge after takeover London, and Foley Rollins, no, so Foley, Foley reigns. Jericho and Owens had their segment, which led for a main event U.S. title match made by McFoley. McFoley also made a battle royale. Braun Strowman wanted to join the team, so he had to earn his way by winning the battle royale, and he did. He won the battle royale, and he joins the Fire Series team. And the main event ended in a no in a disqualification disqualification finish, and. Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns had a moment where the fans chanting shield, and that's Monday Night Raw. Wow. Whew. Okay. So, now we go to SmackDown. As SmackDown was live in Newark, New, uh, New Jersey, where I finally got what I thought. Uh, what I thought. Uh, uh, Grimm's, Grimm's Toy Show went to fucking SmackDown. I watched his vlog earlier today. 
But anyways, come to you live in New York, New, uh, New Jersey, and we start with the show with James Ellsworth. No Chin Music himself comes out, and he's cutting a promo, basically pleading that Dean Ambrose, take my apology. I'm sorry that I cost you your chance to fight for the WWE World Title. And Dean Ambrose is like, look, man, it's all right. He's like, he's like, it's all right. Don't need to apologize. And then telling Ellsworth not to get in his way ever again. AJ Styles comes out saying that James Ellsworth owes him his, his career and that he, that he deserves the apology and not Dean Ambrose. So then, uh, when they uh, when Dean Ambrose and Ellsworth went backstage, Daniel Bryan, GM of SmackDown, made the announcement that if Dean Ambrose uh, beats AJ Styles tonight in the main event, then he will get a WWE World Title shot. But if he does not win, it will be his last shot ever. So, that was the end for that segment, and also Daniel Bryan banned Ellsworth from ringside, and we're gonna, we're gonna get to that later on. So, we, had, uh, we, we went from that to transition into a tag team women's match. Uh, it was Carmella and Alexa Bliss against Nikki Bella, and the, the women's champion returning to action on SmackDown and Becky Lynch, which I enjoyed this match because Alexa Bliss defeated Becky Lynch in a, uh, for the second time bef before their championship match the next week in a one month time period. Think about that. When uh, heading into No Mercy, Alexa Bliss defeated Becky Lynch in a tag team match. And then this past Tuesday night on SmackDown, Alexa Bliss defeated Becky Lynch in a tag team match before their, ta before their title match. So, and Alexa Bliss cut a promo. Carmelo cut a promo also on the Raw, on the Raw Superstar, I should say. And then after talking about winning the women's title next week in Glasgow and yeah that was it for that segment uh, Naomi was backstage uh, Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon announced that she'll be on the the Smackdown women's team the title comes in talking about being a coach and she was able to beat the was was able to become the coach of the Smackdown women's team and the uh, uh, the cringe moment of the night uh, Natalia purring on Shane McMahon, I, that was, that was weird, I, I can't lie about that. Um, Randy Orton fought Kane, I forgot to mention this, Randy, Randy Orton fought Kane in a no qualification match, which was three minutes long, and it ended with the White family getting involved, and then helping Randy Orton win with an RKO, and then they all do their pose, but at the same time, like if they're in a faction, it was unique, and I like that. Also later on, the White family and Randy Orton had their backstage promo, and uh, Randy Orton basically saying that he's a god and his eyes started to shine and stuff. So that was that was uh, some weird shit. <laughs> I gotta I gotta be honest. So the American Alphas uh, they joined the Survivor Series team and so does the Usos by defeating the uh, the Headbangers and also the Spirit Squad on SmackDown. And then we go to our main event, which was Dean Ambrose versus AJ Styles for the WWE title. Sorry, for the chance to fight for the WWE title. I apologize for my my mistake. Um, Dean Ambrose had a great match against against AJ Styles again, even though they fought last week and many times before that. But they were able to put it off. They are able to pull it off. So, James Ellsworth comes out during the match. During the ending of the match, James Ellsworth comes out trying to help Dean Ambrose, trying to will Dean Ambrose, trying to cheer for Dean Ambrose. AJ Styles saw James Ellsworth. The security guard was making a beeline to the ring, trying to get James Ellsworth. James Ellsworth running out, right? James Ellis. That was a big mistake. A lot of people got pissed by that. Uh, James Ellsworth was running around the ring. And then when he got back to the ring, AJ Styles saw him. He shoved him onto the announce table. AJ Styles got back onto the apron, going for that phenomenal form. He got caught into a dirty deeds. One, two, three. Dean Ambrose is he the more contender. And also Shane McMahon later on that night on Talking Smack. Shane McMahon has announced WWE TLC. SmackDown exclusive. December 4th. WWE World Title in a WWE TLC match. Dean Ambrose versus AJ Styles for the World Championship. So... Who won this week in bragging rights? Well, it's SmackDown Live. Do you want to know why? Do you want to know why? I'll explain right here, right now. The reason why SmackDown Live has won this week. Again, 
in the second episode of Bragging Rights, mainly because SmackDown is building more than what Raw is. SmackDown is more consistent than Raw is. That's why I haven't really done Bragging Rights in the past couple weeks because there was basically no point because SmackDown has been doing good while Raw has been doing bad. And I think Raw will continue doing bad until the three hours are up or they just change completely everything. SmackDown, and what, do, what do I mean by building? They're still building the WWE World title match in the middle of building up to Survivor Series. Because how they're going to build a championship match or the, the entire pay-per-view uh, TLC within two weeks. December 20th to December 4th is two weeks. How they're going to build that? Well, they're going to build it right now. That's why SmackDown is a success right now. Because SmackDown is building not one maybe not two but more more than one I can tell you I can't be a, I can't give you a definitive answer on how many building are they doing but they're building more than one raw is only building Goldberg and Lesnar which a match that I've already said that is a mistake because it's already on Mac loss for Goldberg all right that's that's why because I want Lesnar to lose but at the same time, I'm too smart to know that I know he's not going to fucking lose. That's, uh, that, that's just me. But, um, yeah, SmackDown building uh, Survivor Series, the teams, you know, the team, uh, uh, Alexa Bliss and Carmelo talking trash about SmackDown. I mean, New Day, they talk trash about the SmackDown teams, but besides that, you can't really argue. So that's it. There's Dragon Rice. Thank you for watching, and I am out. Bye-bye.